What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean! I am still here in Pelisan. Uh, Jonathan has been uh, kind enough to let me stay here while my uh, knee is healing up after uh, what happened on New Year's Eve. And uh, while here I have uh, made some new friends as well. Um, you've already met Corentin, um, Jonathan's brother. And today we are going for a ride with Corentin's girlfriend, Luis. I don't really know where we're headed, but uh, we're gonna just go for a little ride, make some coffee and uh, see what the day brings, basically. Yesterday, <laughs> I uh, got a haircut and uh, it's a bit unusual. <laughs> it's very short. My, <laughs> my head is cold now. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I went a little bit too short because <laughs> you have a date. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I've been staying here in um, Pelesan for almost a week now, and uh, my knee is still a little bit painful, but it's uh, it's healing up pretty well. Uh, I don't have a limp anymore, at least, so that's good. And I have become really good friends with uh, Jonathan, Quarantin and Luis. Uh, and met their family, and had dinner on New Year's Eve with their, their mom. And they've been extremely welcoming to me. And, uh, and I've made some, some friends for life now. And Luis is studying to be a psychologist. And uh, she's having her last exams uh, these days. Uh, so she hasn't been able to ride her motorcycle as much as uh, she wanted to. So now the bike needs some uh, TLC and uh, a ride so that the battery doesn't die. That's a good excuse to, to go for a little ride. It's been really cold here for the last few days, but uh, now it's actually uh, pretty warm. It's 12 degrees now. So now it's like summer. <laughs> and we have beautiful blue skies. Today is a good day. Like Ice Cube says. You and I, we're trouble inside. Beating hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write. I'm in love, you're divine, and it's all in our signs. We're going away. Here we are, back in Aix de Provence, where the university is. Here we have the beauty. <laughs> NT07. Pretty good looking bike. How's it going? Good. 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 So, uh, where should we go? Uh, we follow that way. <laughs> okay. Follow the Yamaha. I had never tried the MT-07 before, but she let me try hers uh, a little while ago. And it's so much fun to ride, but it's so tiny. I feel like a, like a giant on top of it. That car in front, that silver Fiat, holy crap, that spewing black smoke, it stinks.
currently my GPS says I'm going the wrong way, but I trust the locals. <laughs> This is where we're going. Okay. Cool, cool. Nice. So this is the place? Yeah, this is the place. Cool. That's a nice ride up here. So what is this place? This is Vauvenard. 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 This is the Saint Victor mountain. What would you call it? Saint Victor. Saint Victor. Yeah. Okay. And you used to live up here? Yeah. Cool. Just uh, up here. Huh. This is a beautiful place. Coffee. Agua. Eh? Is that, is that French? Oh. Not drinking. Oh. Eh, oh. 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 No. no? Water is boiling. Now let's just wait for eight minutes. How will it work? Like um, all the little, comment on it? The grains? Yeah, it's not. The piece of cake, yeah. Not really. No? No. Just at the bottom. That's why we have to wait like yeah, it's going to you wait to. Yeah. So now it, it brews. So uh, when when the coffee is floating on top, it, it's extracting flavor. Um, but you don't want it to do that for too long because then it gets bitter. So when when it's done, you just tap the pot, and then that crust breaks up and everything mm. sinks to the bottom. Okay. Are you do you have one exam left now, or are you done with your exams? No, that's it. You're finished. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel? Great. <laughs> I'm free. I'm, uh, I'm glad I'm done with school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never never got anywhere in school, but... Uh, <laughs> Vacation every <Yeah>. day. <laughs> I found coffee while I was in school, so... <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I hope I am gonna find something like, I don't know, <laughs> Madeleine. <and laughs> no school anymore. <laughs> yeah. I make some food now. <laughs> some cake. <laughs> Open a bakery instead. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah exactly. But that's a, this is like a psychologist bakery. Like you can... Uh, have a seat. <laughs> yeah, have a seat while you something. wait for your bread to, yeah. <laughs> to bake. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> How long have you had your motorcycle license? 2019. But uh, I don't really use it. How come? Actually, because I'm in the city and I don't need it. But I should go on a, on a ride. Uh, but I, I don't. It's, uh, this is the best therapy there is. This, uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel great. I don't know why uh, I don't do it uh, more often. The road up here is amazing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Coffee time! Awesome. <laughs> this is here. Now you have a big crust on top. You just give it a few knocks and it breaks up. And then we we'll let it sit for like half a minute to a minute just to let the grounds 
this is the traditional way of making coffee in Norway. Like the okay, it's called it's called cowboy coffee in English. In Norwegian, we call it kuki kaffe mm. or like boiling coffee. Okay, I never saw this. Or like people do it a little bit different from place to place, and but uh, the the general idea is the same. I <laughs> I have half of my luggage is coffee gear. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. I think about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much stuff just for the coffee. <laughs> Which color do you want? <laughs> <laughs> this probably tastes uh, quite different to what you're used to. Maybe. <laughs> it's better like than it's our usual uh, black coffee. Skol. Bon appetit. Skol. Or, uh, <laughs> Skol. Skol. <laughs> Salut. This is what I like to do, just like ride around on my motorcycle, mm -hmm. <laughs> meet people and uh, have some coffee. That's what it's <laughs> written. Yeah. yeah. Just life. Yeah. <laughs> just live. <laughs> Riding the coffee bean around the world. Are these typical French things? Or yeah. yeah? What are they called? Madeleine. 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 The full the, name is Madeleine de Commercy. Is that Truly. after a woman or something? Yeah, because of the wife uh, um, of the a king, not a king, but... Is it in French? I don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. How is it? Stanislas. Stanislas? Yes. I don't know Stanislas. Of Pologne? Uh, Poland. Poland? Yeah, but he lives in, in France. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, cool. And near to Nancy. Oh. Like Commercy. Where? Madeleine de Commercy. Ah. And that's yeah, and that's when he visits, you know Voltaire? Hmm? When Voltaire visits him in his Operti. castle, yeah. he, made, he made his cook, his Chef, uh, I don't know how. Yeah, it's yeah. dessert is like a dessert. Like a unique yeah. dessert. And uh -huh. that's. Cool. So that's where. And where he, call, from. he called this Madeleine. Madeleine. Because of the name of. I don't know if it's uh, his wife or his mistress oh. or something like that. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah cool. They're good. Which painter did you see say lived here? Cezanne. Cezanne. He's like I a think. famous French yeah. painter. Paul Cézanne. So, should, yeah. should I know of him? C'est lui, c'est Cézanne. Yeah, je crois que c'est Paul Cézanne. I'm going to show you what he made. This mountain is this oh, mountain. Oh, that's that mountain. Yeah. Oh, but cool. on another that's point of view. Yeah. How come you landed on the MT-07 when you bought your motorcycle? Because it's a, it's an easy one. Like, it's basic, but works good. And small. Yeah. yeah. Light. And uh, yeah, not heavy because I can't. Yeah, it's a really good bike for beginning. That's um, that's what we learned on. Okay. Did you have any interest in motorcycles before, or did you just take the license for fun? I I did. I um, I went uh, on passenger. Uh, Seat. It, mm -hmm. and that's that's when I I knew. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. You got hooked. Mm. Mm. I can smell the fruits, mm -hmm. but I can't I Thank can't you. taste them. It's gonna taste different depending on how you brew it as well. So if I brew it like this uh, and I brew it. Uh, brew it? Uh, make it. Like, okay. like This is like what we did right. now with brewing coffee. Okay. So if, if I brew it um, on... The French thing? Yeah, but then it's going to taste a little bit different. And then if I use this, for example, it's going to taste very different. So this is a yeah. V60, so you put it on top and then you pour okay. coffee on top or water on, over on top of it. I use filters for it. You don't have yeah. to, but then I need, you need to grind it very fine and it's 
doesn't taste as good. Mm. And it's uh, like the way we did it now with the French press or the cowboy coffee style, then you get all the oils in it. So you get a little bit thicker mouth feel, a uh, heavier body to it. It mm -hmm. feels feels thicker in the mouth. Okay. But if you use a filter, then the filter absorbs all the oils. So it's more water, water like. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a little bit um, smoother, you can say, or maybe. Uh, okay. But then, <coughs> in those oils, there's a lot of uh, fats and cholesterol. So uh, you can compare it to bacon. Like eating bacon every now and then is fine, but if you eat bacon every single yeah. day, it's not so good. So if you drink unfiltered coffee every single day, it's kind of like eating bacon every single day. But if you mm. use a, f a coffee filter, it takes away 99% of the okay. the, the, those fats. I didn't know at all. So if you like the, the everyday coffee, you should use a, a filter that's okay. much healthier. Yeah. But then every now and then it's of course fine to... <laughs> yeah. Have a little bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that there was... Oh, yeah. in coffee. You see, like when it cools down, you can see that it floats on yeah. top. I see. Hit the road again and head back home. <laughs> <laughs>